Hi, my name is Katie Wagner. My father's name is Robert Wagner. His friends call him RJ, but I call him Daddy. This is Roxbury Park, right in the middle of Beverly Hills. We all grew up around here, and at the time, we really didn't think it was very unusual. The young kids played over there, and the older kids, they played over here, and they hated that. Right across the street is Beverly Hills High, where I went to school. You can always recognize it by the famous oil well on campus. Well, a lot of interesting students went to this school. Some of them were me, oh yeah, Betty White, Richard Chamberlain, Richard Dreyfus, Rob Reiner, Sean Cassidy went to school there, Bonnie Franklin, and Albert Brooks. And I'll tell you a little secret. Albert's real name is Albert Einstein. They say the teachers took one look at his grades and suggested that he change his name. Growing up here is like any place else, but it's always a little more so. A lot of towns have Christmas decorations, and many of them have pageants and parades, but only in Beverly Hills can you see a Christmas like this. This is a time when Beverly Hills lights up with the holiday spirit. That's why early in the afternoon, the day after Thanksgiving, over three blocks of Wilshire Boulevard and part of Rodeo Drive are completely closed to traffic. An army of riggers, gaffers, stagehands, and technicians swarm out into the town's busiest street, building a stage right in front of the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. They begin to transform the city of stars into the city of lights, full of season's greetings. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here to welcome you to the Beverly Hills Holiday Pageant, Stephanie Kramer. You know, at the holidays, we all have such joy and love in our hearts that we feel for one another. And we just imagine what it would be like if we, we could take that light and that love that we feel and to extend it forth and come from our hearts, not just at the holidays, but just imagine how it could be if we could do that all year long. Our marching band, the 700 voice choir, and even Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Children from the local Ronald McDonald house gathered around actor Richard Mulligan as he described good old St. Nick. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, roses and his nose like a... Other participants in the festivities were a jazz band from Finland, the International Children's Choir, and singer Mel Torme. It was a very special guest to help sum up the spirit of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a very talented lady, Miss Whoopi Goldberg. Yes. God bless the youth of America. You know, when I was a kid, which was a long time ago, I never thought I'd be standing on the corner of Wilshire and Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills singing Christmas carols and not getting arrested. <laughs> but I must say Christmas has always been my favorite time. It's a time when dreams come true. It's customary at Christmas time to give each other gifts. It wasn't always like that, though. You know, 1988 years ago, people didn't give each other gifts. 
When Mary and Joseph showed up at the inn, they didn't have any money, no food, no job, no place to stay, and Mary was about to give birth. They were homeless. There was no way that the innkeeper would give them a room, but he did let them stay in the manger, out in the stable, so that Mary could have her baby. Pretty much the same way homeless people are living today and having babies. And when the three wise men heard about the birth of the Christ child, they didn't give gifts to each other. These three wise men were wise enough to know that the spirit of giving and the spirit of Christmas is about helping others. Perhaps now, almost 2,000 years later, we should think about doing the same thing. Give some of our gifts to the homeless. Maybe that's what Christmas is all about. The spirit, the true spirit of Christmas, is not about things you can do for people at Christmas time. It's about the Christmas things you can do for people all the time. And on that note, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. And then it was time for the big event, plugging in the Beverly Hills Christmas lights. This is how our town looks from Thanksgiving through New Year's Day. This behind-the-scenes coverage shows the Beverly Hills Hairdressers Association preparing for their first annual charity ball. Sadly, there never was a second annual ball. 